Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and this is me and my Extraordinary Tourist character getup and I can't tell you how hard it is to ride a skateboard wearing these circle sunglasses. Okay, so this is part two of my skeleton businessman uh, skateboard design and I thought for this video it would be fun to get myself dressed up as my extraordinary tourist character with the business suit and the circle sunnies just to sort of give you an idea of what inspired the look of this character or the skeleton character uh, unfortunately on the day that I was filming me skating it was very windy and as I as you saw in the intro to this video it was very hard to skate with the circle sunglasses on and I just really couldn't get into it but I decided to include the footage in this video anyway just so that you could sort of see that look and get a sense of where the uh, skeleton businessman's character design came from so what you're seeing on here on screen at the moment is me just doing the line work in clip paint studio uh, these lines are actually done with vector lines and what I do is pretty much outline everything really quickly all in the same line thickness and then what I do is I go back and because these are vector lines I can go in and edit the actual points and I'll show you me doing that a little bit later so that you can see what I mean by that and get the lines just right and exactly how I need them for the final design so this is the line work done my quick line work I'm just showing you it with the sketch behind it and now without and you can see here I decided to change the angle of this arm so that I could get this design bigger when I put it on the bottom of a skateboard so that it wouldn't sort of fall off the edge and this little bit here you can actually see me editing the points there I just left this little bit in so you could see that process but I uh, took all that out because it's actually quite a boring and laborious to watch what I'm doing here is thickening out lines to sort of get a bit of variation and make the actual outline look more interesting so wherever you see that sort of uh, green line that I'm drawing that's uh, me indicating that I want that line to be thicker or thinner depending on what my pen setting is on and that's why I really like outlining with vector lines it's much quicker than actually doing this sort of drawing on paper with an actual marker pen. I also wanted to comment on this view that I like to use when I'm drawing my artwork. I sort of find this view where you can actually see my hand drawing gives a better sense of what digital art is than if I just do a screen capture which you'll see I did later on. Uh, you get more of a sense of me actually drawing this rather than it being digital art. So you can see here I did a bit more filming of me skating my little quarter pipe thing here. Again I wasn't really into it and it was very sort of difficult to skate with those glasses on but as I said I just thought I'd include this footage just for a bit of fun. Still can't skate that ramp very well unfortunately and it's even harder to do when you can't see it properly. Uh, so moving on here you can see I'm starting to colour the skeleton character in and the actual colour is done on what's known as a raster or bitmap layer which is more like your traditional digital painting that uses pixels instead of vector lines. You can see here I'm just sort of able to select areas and just bucket fill them with the paint bucket instead of sort of colouring everything in like you would with with coloured pencils or markers or whatever you would use. And I tried to keep the colour scheme fairly simple. I wanted it to be uh, mostly flat colours with a bit of shading. So you can see here I'm sort of getting a bit of darkness into the mouth there. And 
getting a bit a little bit of uh, gradation and shading in there and then I wanted to do a lot of my shadows with this light blue on the whites just to sort of give the whites a bit of form so that they're not completely flat so here adding shadows to the skull there so there's not too much more I can tell you about the actual design other than I'm sort of carring it in. I can talk a bit about the tablet, pen display tablet monitor that I'm using in case you're interested in that. Uh, you'll notice with the pen on this monitor sometimes I switch it around and use the other end of it as an eraser which is a nice feature that makes using this particular display more like uh, drawing on paper and stuff. Uh, the display itself is a Pablo Coast 21.5 inch pen display monitor and it's actually a very good value for money mo um, pen display monitor. You can pick up one of these easily for under a thousand dollars US and uh, they're about 850 or so dollars in Australian money and the number of extras that you get with it makes it um, excellent value in the sense that uh, you get uh, screen protectors and you get a, a desk mount stand for it so that one of the swing arm type stands so that you can uh, move it from being a drawing tablet back up to a monitor uh, really quickly so it sort of easily doubles as a monitor, you don't have to keep it down on your desk using it as a tablet all the time, which is uh, something that I do. I have two displays, one's the pen display and one's my monitor. Uh, so there you can see me doing just a bit more skating. Uh, I didn't do a lot on my board slider thing because that was really hard to skate with the glasses on because the frames of my glasses were right in the my view of sight for actually um, ollieing onto the board slider. Anyway, there you can see I'm sort of using the eraser to erase some of the light grey that I put down for the highlights on the suit there. Yeah, it was most mostly I was going around putting highlights on at this point, and then I think after that I started doing the dark areas, so you get a kind of semi 3D look to this character. It's still very much flat colours but sort of the light and dark on the suit gives it a bit of a kind of an embossed look. So another thing you might notice about this pen display monitor is that it doesn't have any buttons along the side that you can use as shortcuts like you would have say on a Wacom uh, pen display tablet. Uh, I don't personally find that to be a problem. If you look sort of closely at the images you can see my left hand is sort of pressing buttons on an external keypad that I bought and that's how I use get around not having any buttons on the monitor itself. Anyway at this point I thought I was fairly close to being finished but then I realized there was all this sort of orangey yellow colour in the skateboard that could do with being up in getting some of that up into the top part of the design and since skeletons aren't usually completely white anyway they're usually more of a cream colour uh, I decided to add a bit more of a cream orangey look about it using the colours from the skateboard and just to help give it a more 3D look as well uh, you'll notice this view is straight screen capture and I think you'll agree it doesn't feel quite as sort of personal uh, watching me draw in this way as opposed to actually seeing my hand drawing on the tablet. Uh, so once I did that, signed my name on it, I was going to leave that on the edge like that and then I thought no, I'll put, it, put my little signature there inside the design. Uh, make it harder for anyone to remove and whatever without sort of making it stand out. 
And then I realized I was going to be putting this design onto dark colors, so I wanted to give it a white outline. And this last bit of skating, just a couple of kick flips that I tried, just to finish things off. So here you can see, filling in the area for the white outline, changing the background, and there you have pretty much the finished design. This design is available in my Redbubble store. You can get it as a sticker or on clothing or on uh, mobile phone case covers and all different types of gift items at varying prices. The stickers are the best value and probably the lowest cost if you want it like that. And you can sort of stick it on anything that you want. It's also available on skateboards in my board pusher store. Uh, there are, I think, five different shaped skateboards from the traditional popsicle deck uh, through to longboards and cruisers uh, and retro shaped designs. So, uh, links for all of that is in the description to this video, and any purchases you make will really help this channel out. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this particular uh, new design for my store. If this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed, then subscribe. Uh, if you already subscribed, uh, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And don't forget to comment and share uh, this particular video if you've enjoyed watching it. So, until next time, I shall see you later. Bye for now.